Hello and welcome. Welcome to another State of the Collection watch review. So, this channel is Watch Chris. Um, probably one of the biggest channels we've reviewed so far. This is 21,000 subscribers. Um, I am subscribed to this channel. Um, don't actually have a lot of memory of watching a lot of the videos but i think i've watched a few videos here and there so i'd recommend subscribing to this channel subscribing to this tra channel so let's start with the review for watch chris as i remember it's got pretty high quality collection so maybe he might have quite a lot of uh quite a lot of watches may have a lot of duplicates i've not actually watched this video yet so i'm coming into this video completely blind let's see what's happening up with collection 2021. This year I'm going to do it a little bit differently from previous years. I'm going to go through each watch, or I'm not going to pile all the watches on screen. I'm going to go through them one by one. It's a little less confusing, I think. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it better. Okay. I'll talk about each watch, but I'll try and move to state of the collection. Put a link. Is it, is this the first watch? Let's just talk Check about. out my watches, actually. Vacherons. Uh, I have three Vacherons. So this is a Vacheron Constant. Fashion Constant, quite a very nice watch, very expensive. Probably, I would say, probably a bit too expensive unless you're uh, a millionaire. <laughs> um, yeah, very good brand though. One of the one of the um, what's called the Holy Trinity, Trini Trinity of Swiss watches. So um, yes, nice but very expensive. Not sure it offers value for money. It's very high horology, high horology. Uh, a lot of work goes into it. I don't think it's probably in most people's lifestyle. Though. It's not actually a wearable watch. This thing is far too expensive. Um, unless you're a millionaire with money to 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 burn. But um, certainly glad they're being made. I mean, um, a lot of workmanship and crap has just gone into it. So let's carry on. Right now. Uh, I'm going to start with the traditional, actually. Uh, That's very nice, isn't it? It's a uh, pressure on. The dial's a bit too busy for me, to be honest, though. Um, again, very, very expensive. So, let's carry uh, on. This is the rose gold. This is... Forward a bit. Rose gold. 1.5. Basically, on my... Is every, uh, but not really. This one is. Sorry for the road noise there. It's a window open. Uh, very, very busy at the moment. Actually, but uh, here is on my seven and a half. Okay, so. It's just. From Vacheron, if you guys. Okay, he's got another Vacheron. I mean, this is another problem as well. He's got too many Vacherons, so probably just need to choose one Vacheron. I do like this one. This is a bit more subdued, isn't it? The dial's a bit less busy, so I'll probably go... I do like this, and I do like that grey colour, that dial, so that might be the one I would choose out of the Vacheron so far. Turn that from a completely titanium... Just to recap, we only really, really like one uh, manufacturer per collection, so we've got to choose one Vacheron for his collection. Version, it has a sapphire dial, and there's a bunch of elements in the dial that are yeah, it's quite nice. really hard to see with the naked eye. There's world to separate it. Meters, I want to say. 7,000 uh, video, but I didn't. This Timex, his whole life, he was a bartender. Um, he was born this is just... Uh, very shortly before he passed away, uh, my father wore a... I can see it's a sentimental watch, but I don't particularly like it. It's got the offset seconds, but it's a bit classic, but no. So, so far in the watch collection, we would choose the grey Vacheron. Time is... But to fresh... He worked... Trying, uh... Again, a rookie. Just makes me happy when I see it because it. Uh, next watch, I'm going to go with a Roger Dubuis. This is one of my favorite watches. This is Roger Dubuis. Can't say I know that brand. Probably some Swiss maker. 
quite a small maker. Can't say I like that. Look at that watch, though. Monogast, and that, and that refers, refers to the people who live in the Principality of Monaco. It's probably very expensive. Uh, and this is no. meant to look like a roulette wheel. This is a 42 oh, millimeter watch. No, uh, very I wide. I don't like that. It's a bit too flashy, too showy. In, uh, Can't, when, when would you ever use that? Is it a dress watch? No. Very hard to so far, the grey Vacheron is the only one we want to keep. I mean, the other Vacheron is the other Vacheron's very nice, but obviously we've got to choose only one uh, manufacturer. So one one watch from each manufacturer. So we're going with the grey Vacheron so far. Uh, that's what they call the Vacheron. Uh, that's what this, this is another uh, Roger Debris. Don't I say? Don't like that yeah, either. Yeah, no. One here. Pin watches. I've measured this a few times. And, and this is a cab leather strap. It's not incredibly. Uh, no, it's. A, I don't like that. Somehow, what? I don't I like that. It's a bit. It's not understated. It's quite blingy, quite obvious. And from a manufacturer, I mean Roger Debris is probably well known in certain watch circles. I've never. I've vaguely heard of it. I don't think. No, it's not. Uh, it's not really got that X factor for me. Um, unlike the Vacheron Grey. Okay. So, I think these. Let's move on. My Easy Diver. This is a watch that. What is this? Oh, another Roger Debris. Don't wear anymore, that's actually, that's I'm going actually to sell. okay. Uh, I just haven't. But again, it's a bit blingy. Uh, don't really like it that much. Any movement. Has he got another Roger Debris coming up? Debris, Debris. It's a huge. Roger Debris, Debris. Let's see what's coming up next. Uh, oh, this is, is my AP Royal Oak oh, yeah. Offshore. That's very nice. Uh, this is the diver. I have it on a bracelet. It is a very large watch as well, even though it wears, or it should be, uh, a 42 okay, millimeter so watch. That, it oh, wears like a 44 millimeter we'll, watch. That's we'll hold that one in reserve, so that's quite nice. Let's see what if he's got any other Audemars PK. Because of these jump. Extremely buy another one at a significant discount actually definitely in the case um okay so so far we would stay with the gray vacheron that Audemars pk this iwc this is my ingenieur by iwc oh yeah ingenieur iwc that's very nice yep okay so that's a three watch collection so uh, far one of it's a duplicate let's watch see for. I think that this has a shorter look. Yeah, that's quite nice, actually. I yeah, I, do, I like that. I like that IWC. It's quite nice. JLC. Uh, this is a Jager Lacoutre. You see, um, if you're going to have one Jager Lacoutre, it's got to be something like Verso or an older vintage piece. This is not really typical of the brand. It is quite nice, but um, I wouldn't add that to the collection. This is a watch that... So, so far we've got the um, the grey, um, Fred, not Frederick Corsa, Vacheron Const Constantine. We've got the um, Aud Audemars PK, um, and we've got the there was another one, wasn't there? Okay, let's just go back to see what that one was. I'm only gonna forget. Oh yes, IWC. Yeah, on on Genoa, very nice. Yeah. So the IWC, the Audemars PK, and the Vacheron. <laughs> So let's see. I don't really like that. A, um, yeah, I, I sort, sort of discussed it. Not, not typical of the brand. Came with the bracelet. I modded this bracelet. Uh, the person who actually sold it, I think I paid. Oh, sorry. Is that the. Got it for. Tudor. That's this a, bracelet. In 2021. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. I don't actually like that. That's quite an innovative device. As far as I know, that model of Tudor was a prototype um, to be a military issued watch, but it never actually passed a prototype stage. Um, I don't know how many years ago, probably 40 years ago, and they reintroduced that model. So that's actually quite nice. So you've got a four watch connection. Uh, the IWC, the Vacheron Constantin, um, the Tudor, 
and all of us PK. So okay, let's um. Let's, let's see if we've got any, any more. I bet he's probably got some more Tudors. Let's just forward a bit more. Almost at the end of this video now. Yeah, and, and this is a show on the dial card. itself. No, uh, done like that. Very busy dial. Uh, the uh, show card, not a massively known make. I mean, it's, it's a high quality uh, piece. Buckle. But I don't particularly like it, like we said. Al. What's this has got here? Alright, so, so this is a larger watch. It is a 43 millimeter watch. Card. Again, uh, on the larger. Yeah, that's a, dial's a bit busy. Don't particularly like that. Um, and yeah, everywhere Panerai. I've actually scrapped it. That's very nice. Panerai, yeah, Luminor, Marina, very nice. Definitely keep that. I would keep it on le leather strap. Probably actually a rubber strap would be better than that metal one. But that's nice, yes. So we've got the. Um, it's Panerai, got the IWC, you've got the Aldermans PK. Um, and the two from the beginning. Okay, so uh, yeah, Jew movement. Uh, and I have two of those here. Uh, this is their chronograph, so you get a column wheel. Oh, this is another panel. Very long time okay, with their automatic movements, and then they moved into in-house movements. Uh, and I have two of those here. Uh, this is their chronograph, so you get a column wheel. Yeah, I actually prefer that black case. Probably that that one. As the one Panerai in the collection, which you only need one Panerai, the black Order case. Graphic, so, so, me... that's... so that's good. Uh, move. What? Vintage loom on these two. Hmm. That's quite a hard decision between those two um, black case Panerais. Okay. So probably the. Watch. Same with uh, the other. I think the one, the previous one, was better. Actually, the previous black. Much in my opinion. This, this uh, it does a, say Ralph Lauren. What is this? Ralph Lauren. Whoever he's not seventy-five. One it is. Wheel chronograph. They call it. No, I don't like that. It's a bit ornate. Don't really like that. Ralph Lauren. Like mm, no. Interesting. I think this is. Uh, we have my. And and the this last watch. one is uh, 39 millimeters, so it's a yeah, that's nice. Lots. Amiga, it's very nice. I believe three. Uh, and the Speedmaster was a little yeah, that's nice. I have it here. I just want to show it to oh, you guys. Oh, yeah, that's the Amiga Speedmaster two. I probably would choose that to be honest over the previous Amiga. Yeah, I prefer that. I believe that's water resistant as well. I mean, just Beat Monster 2. That's very nice, yeah. I think the racing version, yeah, that's nice. Um, however, there's. It's, don't like this. No, I don't like that. And it module that sits on. Right, I'm getting towards the end of this video so now. Uh, um, the, uh, scratch. Uh, no, it, I don't know really like and offset, another watch offset dials like that. Of this. Okay, so that's in that video. So, as far as I remember, uh, we wanted to keep one the Tudor, um, one of the Panerais, um, the IWC Engineer, Engineer, Engineer. Um, wanted to keep um, Audemars PK, uh, the Grey Dial Vacheron Constant. Believe that was it. What I would keep that collection, but gotta say it's a perfect, it's a superb collection. Very high. Horology. Um, thank you for watching. Um, this video was from Watch Chris. Um, recommend his channel. So um, yeah, that's probably, the, probably the, one of the best collections you've seen so far on this channel. But slightly expensive. It, um, if you can afford it, it's fine. But probably most average people can't afford that. So thank you for watching. Thank you.